Access to energy is a key pillar for human well-being, economic development, and poverty alleviation. However, our energy systems also have important environmental impacts. Historical and current energy systems are dominated by fossil fuels, coal, oil, and gas, which produce carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, the fundamental driver of global climate change. If we are to meet our global climate targets and avoid dangerous climate change, the world needs a significant and concerted transition in its energy sources. Balancing the challenge between development and environment therefore provides us with an ultimate goal of ensuring everyone has access to enough sustainable energy to maintain a high standard of living. 1. Solar Power Plants Solar energy plants convert energy from the sun into thermal or electric energy using one of the cleanest and most abundant renewable energy sources. They generally do not require high maintenance and last for about 20 to 25 years. The International Energy Agency, or IEA, projected in 2014 that by 2050, solar photovoltaic and solar thermal would contribute about 16 and 11 percent respectively to the worldwide electricity consumption, and solar would be the world's largest source of electricity. However, initial costs involved in setting up solar power plants are high and the installation of solar power systems requires a lot of space. Badla Solar Park is the world's largest solar park located in India, which is spread over a total area of 14,000 acres, or 57 kilometers squared, in Badla, India. The park has a total capacity of 2,245 megawatts, spread across more than 14,000 acres. 2. Wind Power Plants in recent years, there has been rapid growth in the number of wind farms across the world, underpinned by technological advancements. As wind is naturally a occurring source of energy, there are no limitations to harness its power. Operational costs involved in maintaining wind power plants are low after the erection of wind turbines, and they are generally considered cost-effective. Wind farms can also be built on agricultural lands without causing any interruption to cultivation activities. However, maintenance of wind turbines may vary, as some need frequent checks and wind power projects typically require huge capital expenditure. The Gansu Wind Farm Project, or Jiuquan Wind Power Base, is a group of large wind farms under construction in the western Gansu province in China. The Gansu Wind Farm Project is located in desert areas near the city of Jiuquan and also near Yumen City, in the northwest province of Gansu, which has an abundance of wind resources. The complex is operating at below 40% utilization of the current 8 gigawatts with a planned capacity of 20 gigawatts. Now capacity is considered to be 7,965 megawatts. 3. Solar Thermal Power Plants Solar thermal is a system of giant mirrors arranged in such a way so as to concentrate the sun's rays on a very small area to create significant amounts of heat thus creating steam to power a turbine that creates electricity. Noor Power Station is a solar power complex located in Dra Tafilalit region in Morocco, 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles from Orzazate town in Gisat Rural Council area. At 510 megawatts, it is the world's largest concentrated solar power plant, with an additional 72 megawatt photovoltaic system, the entire project is planned to produce 582 megawatts at peak when finished, and is being built in three phases and in four parts. The total project's estimated cost is around $2.5 billion. 4. Hydroelectric Power Plants Hydroelectricity is produced by harnessing the gravitational force of flowing water. Compared to fossil fuel-powered energy plants, Hydroelectric power plants emit fewer greenhouse gases. However, the construction of hydroelectric power plants and dams requires huge investment. China alone accounted for almost one-third of global hydropower capacity and added around 11.74 gigawatts of new capacity that year. The Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River in China is the world's biggest hydroelectric facility. It has a generating capacity of 22,500 megawatts, but over a year-long period, both dams can generate about the same amount of electricity because seasonal variations in water availability on the Yangtze River in China limit power generation at Three Gorges for a number of months during the year. The height of the Three Gorges is about 594 feet or 181 meters, 
and the length is about 7,770 feet, or about 2,335 meters. The dam creates the Three Gorges Reservoir, which has a surface area of about 400 square miles, or 1,045 square kilometers, and extends upstream from the dam about 370 miles, or 600 kilometers. Number 5. Coal-Fired Power Plants According to the World Coal Association, coal-fired power plants currently account for 41% of global electricity, with almost half of that coming from China alone. Coal-fired power plants use steam coal as source to generate electricity and consequently emit a significant amount of harmful gases into the atmosphere. In a bid to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, many developed nations have already announced plans to phase out coal-fired power plants. In November 2016, the Canadian government had announced plans to phase out its coal-fired power plants by 2030. In the same month, the UK government had outlined plans to phase out coal-fired power plants by 2025, with a plethora of other European countries following suit. The Tuoketuo Power Station is the largest coal-fired power station in the world. The plant is located in Tokto County, China, and has a gross installed capacity of 5,400 megawatts. 6. Diesel-Fired Power Plants with diesel as fuel, this type of power plant is used for small-scale production of electric power. They are installed in places where there is no easy availability of alternative power sources and are mainly used as a backup for uninterrupted power supply whenever there are outages. Diesel plants require only a small area to be installed and offer higher thermal efficiency compared to coal-fired power plants. Due to high maintenance costs and diesel prices, the power plants have not gained popularity at the same rate as other types of power generation plants such as steam and hydro. The IPP3, considered to be the world's largest internal combustion engine or ICE power plant, was recently inaugurated at the plant site near Amman, Jordan. The plant is powered by a 38 Warstala 50DF multi-fuel engines with a combined capacity of 573 megawatts. In its 14-cylinder guise, this 25,480-liter, four-stories-tall turbocharged behemoth produces approximately 109,000 horsepower. Unsurprisingly, such a massive motor is used in gargantuan cargo container ships. Number 7. Nuclear Power Plants Using a nuclear fission reaction and uranium as fuel, nuclear power plants generate high amounts of electricity. As nuclear power plants emit low greenhouse gas emissions, the energy is considered environmentally friendly. When compared to renewable sources of energy such as solar and wind, the power generation from nuclear power plants is also considered more reliable. Though the investments required to set up nuclear power plants are huge, the costs involved in operating them are low. Nuclear energy sources also have higher density than fossil fuels and release massive amounts of energy. Due to this, nuclear power plants require low quantities of fuel but produce enormous amounts of power, making them particularly efficient once up and running. Tokyo's electric power companies, or TEPCO, Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant in Japan is currently the world's largest nuclear power plant with a net capacity of 7,965 megawatts. Kashiwazaki Kariwa has seven boiling water reactors with a gross installed capacity of 8,212 megawatts. The first five units have a gross capacity of 1,100 megawatts each, whereas the sixth and seventh units have a capacity of 1,356 megawatts. Operations at the plant were, however, seized in May 2012 due to the Fukushima nuclear disaster. TEPCO has been implementing measures at the plant to meet the new safety guidelines set by Japan's Nuclear Regulatory Authority. All the reactors of the plant are expected to be restarted by 2021. We hope you liked this video and we want you to know which was your favorite. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell down below if you want to make sure you never miss out on important new information like this.